Hello friends, Faisal Amin here. In this video tutorial, we will develop a dialer app that dial your phone or you can make any call from it. We basically divide it into two parts. The first part in this tutorial, we will design our interface of our app and basic things of buttons and working with screens okay so you can find me on my youtube channel here my youtube channel and here my utopian profile so let's start first you need to visit the mit app in order to and just click on start new project and name it as of your own choice i name it as dialer app click on ok and it will open up a screen ok it will open up a screen wait for a minute and it load a screen and it will show you the interface and just you can see that I have practice on it and start a new project name it as dialer app it's an introduction arrow before it and you can see that here the screen one and we first name it as dialer okay you can fix it as dialer and first we need to set up the buttons and we use layout one two three four and it's with to fill parent of all these uh, all these horizontal arrangements with to fill parent okay and fill parent with fill parent and that's the last one is with fill parent Oh my god here fill parent and you can see that all the in fill parent and we just need to put down the buttons one two three one two two three these buttons are used for making a call just dial zero one two three up to nine and here the zero star and hash button we click on it and name from center and center and center here also the center now we just need to width to 30 because I practice on it and I will make up my app before it and the 30 width is definitely very correct and click on width and 30 we need also change its name here slash o underscore underscore one you can not use one only you can use underscore with one button click on ok and also change its text to one one and change it to as underscore two underscore two and change it from here to change its is width to 30 30 width and change its also a name to three and also button three is you can see right here the button 3 is underscore we can see there underscore 3 we will firstly now move on and you can follow my all the here instructions 5 and here underscore um, 3 4 5 5 and here and 6 rename it as 6 underscore 6 
underscore seven underscore eight underscore nine and here the underscore zero and here we can didn't write this static with uh, underscore we we'll just write it as star and here the hash okay only simple hash now we'll change this text to three four five six seven okay here's a seven button and here the eight button eight here the nine and here the zero button name it as zero and here the static so right here static and right here the hash button right here the hash okay now change their width to 30 30 to all the procedure click on ok and just you can see that here the fill percent to 30 ok 30 30 and here also 30 ok here also the 30 click on width 30 and click on ok number 8 and just click on percentage and 30 and click on ok you can follow these same steps on all the buttons as I done it and you can see that here the zero button we also went to like 28 and static to ok static change is width to 30 here also the 30 change the names to hash and here the width to 30 ok we done with it now we just need a label or we use text box but we prefer the text box so drop it on the front of the screen uh, we just choose a layout from the up corner on the screen and fill the width to fill parent ok fill parent ok and drop it this text box in it and pick up a button and drop it here and we name it as back it is used as a backspace oh, we will talk about it on the part 2 part 2 in part 2 we just use this back button and we also use the contacts ok and also colorful this and fill this parent width to fill parent and uh, yeah here height also parent you can fill parent ok it's now great looking and you just need to know in our first tutorial we will basically develop the interface and the basic calls option and in the third uh, sorry second part we will use the select contact from your contact card from your mobile and you can easily call on it and you can also in part 2 you will be able to backspace use the backspace to remove one digit ok remove one digit from your list and you make a call and first we need to design this interface as we did it done with it and now just go to this um, storage here the social and here drop and drag it on this screen phone call here you can see that all the buttons are well organized 
and we just need to go to the block section now and we all done with it here a text box one name it as okay all are done with it and just go to block section now click on this one button and one one click do what it done with when button one click it just text box our text box set text box text to here you can see that text box text to okay you can see that here text box text to join join text box text to here you can see that here text box text to one from math we choose one and just duplicate it for 10 times because we need a zero mm, just remove it and duplicate this full view and duplicate 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 and arrange it as by right click on the screen and arrange it as vertically here you can set the one button now come on the two button click on two enter button three click on three enter and here you can see that one two three and four click on four and enter for after four we just need to set up the button five and they change the button five here the button six and here also the six here the seven change it as seven now eight and also change it here eight I didn't write anything only eight and here the nine you can change it as nine and we just need two more three more blocks for static and hash okay just manage it on the screen and after that we will collapse them now nine and zero zero button to zero and for star here you can just see that star uh, here zero star remove it and go to a text and pick that and here write the static sign star and just need to hash now go to a text and name it as hash hash sign here and click on enter we just remove it as delete and right click on it and here the collapse option collapse blocks and arrange them vertically okay here also all the buttons are here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 0 star hash now we just need to then click on the call button we just put the call button here here put a layout horizontal element width to fill parent and center and we just need a button and name it as call and also change text to call okay now we'll go to this uh, block section and when the clock call button click okay when club um, let's see that here when call click do what it do phone call make a phone call and set phone call number two number two phone call number two our text box text box text you change it as text when you click on car button it go to the this this one text box that we write here the number 
it's call on this number okay now you can see that all the things are well organized and well here text box text call phone call make a call and we just need to try it on our android so just click on build uh, you can use any but we did done it within part 2 ok we will well organize in the part 2 for colorful view we just need to now build app save apk to my computer and just wait for some time it will build the app and save it on your pc or your laptop that's all for the part 1 you can see that all the buttons are here and here are the you can also collapse this block on expand this block here the our apps are downloaded now um, i am going to go on my android now here i am on my android and i have installed this app you can see that here our dialer app and we didn't set any icon so it's our default icon on the dialer app now let's open it and here you can see that we miss on the back button and on the call button but we just set it on the part two in this part one we just need to set it as it is and let's try to make any call like i call on 555 and click on call button and you can see that here it's calling on the call button and we need to use the back button in the part two and just you can see that here i have also on the keyboard in part two we just enable it disable it to use this keyboard we just use this keypad on the interface so in part two we make it as more as professional and just try a code and click on call and you can see that here it's also on it and here you can see that all are working in part two we just design this more professionally so thanks for watching we will meet on the part two